Have you ever wondered what holistic medicine is? Or Reiki or anything like that? Well, we're getting ready to go in and talk to Meredith at Glow Healing Art to find out what all of that is. Hey, I'm Rob Jesse, local realtor, host of Eat Live Love Roanoke, and your guide to everything Roanoke. Let's go in and talk to Meredith. Hey, Rob Jesse here, and I am here with Meredith from Glow Healing Arts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Keep wanting to say healing hands, but it's Glow Healing Arts, and we're going to chat a little bit about uh, what they do here. They're located in Salem, uh, two, two locations on Main Street, so let's talk to them. Hello, Mary. Hi. <laughs> so uh, tell me a little bit about how you got started. And, and... Okay. So my friend Melinda started the business originally. It was called West Salem Holistic Healing Center. She opened in 2018. She was a dear, a dear friend of mine, and I loved supporting her in any way I could, helping out with her grand opening, helping out hosting expos, and jumped forward a couple of years into early 2020, and she was thinking about closing the business and she shared that with me and everything in me just did not want to see the beautiful thing that she was creating right. die. So I asked her if she would trust it to me and she did. So that was kind of the beginning of my major role in this. Um, jump forward a little bit more and we renamed it Glow Healing Arts and that's how we started. <laughs> is Glow an acronym, acronym for anything? Or it's, is it just... It's not. Um, I had imagery um, when I kind of stepped into this role. I sort of had imagery of a, sort of a lighthouse beacon mm -hmm. or something, some type of imagery like that. I didn't want it to be that obvious. Okay. Um, and so I settled on the word Glow and it just seemed to really encompass a lot of what we're about and, and what we do. Okay. So let's roll right into that. So <laughs> Would you like that segue? Yeah, absolutely. So what's um what are you about, what do you do and, and things like that? Okay. Because a lot of people they have no clue. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so we are a holistic wellness and community center. Um, we have three main components. We have practitioners that see clients um, to do one-on-one -on -one services, everything from massage, reflexology, to Reiki, and other types of energy medicine. Um, so we have that component. And then um, we do a lot of classes and workshops and events. We do some free discussion groups, very low-cost classes, um, and I really view it as to help empower people to learn and grow and evolve and then you can tie in lots of cheesy words with the helping people find their glow and right. all kinds of things like that. <laughs> right. And then the third component, um, we have a gift shop. Uh, we have a, a gift shop here in Preston House where uh, we have um, local art and jewelry. Um, we have a large selection of tarot and oracle cards and we have um, some other metaphysical supplies to kind of help people in their journey. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> now do you have um, some type of story or do you have like something funny that somebody came in and thought they were somewhere else? Or... <laughs> I know that you get, sometimes they get mixed up with the two locations. Yes, yes. So let me, so to, to explain the two locations, so we started out um, at what we now call the studio. That's where the West Salem Holistic Healing Center started. And um, it is uh, in the Fort Lewis area, in the Glenver area, in Verona County, well technically Salem, I guess. Right. <laughs> and um, so we started out there, and then, um, let's see, spring of 2021, um, right around the time that I was changing the name to Glow, um, we were outgrowing that space, and then um, where we are, where we are sitting right now, uh, the Preston House, which is the oldest house in Salem. It is currently owned by the Salem Museum and Historical okay. Society. It came up for rent, and some people may know it was formerly the White Oak Tea Tavern mm -hmm. was the previous. Oh, well, I've been coming here several yes, times. Yes, the, the previous yeah. commercial use right. that was here, um, and so it came up for rent. And I adore old houses, and I came and looked at it and fell in love. And it's really the perfect space to do a lot of the things that we 
are interested in. So it's got a wonderful backyard. I'm sure I'm sure Rob will, will show a few pictures oh, yeah. at some point. And a uh, wonderful back courtyard with a magical tree and beautiful gardens. And so it's just a really healing space in itself. Um, Dr. Brown, uh, Dr. Esther Brown was the last Preston descendant that lived here. And she was one of the first medical doctors and female medical doctors in the area. Oh, wow. So it's so kind of fitting for, for me. It, yeah. it is. And actually the museum when we were um, when we were coming along, they loved the tie together of that she was in the healing business right. and that's kind of what we do as well. So they nice. love that tie and, in. And for pharmaceuticals, older eighteen hundred doctors used a lot of, of, of remedies from the yard and from the garden. Yes, like a lot of so herbal remedies. It all absolutely ties yes, together. yes, and in our gift shop we do have uh, we do have some herbal products yeah. from a local uh, local apothecary, right. Earth's Essentials. So yeah, and then we do workshops where we forage around the yard and talk about <laughs> right. Uh, talk I think about one of the neatest things. things was uh, on your Facebook mm -hmm. not too long ago, mm -hmm. you guys did a uh, foraging in the yard here and you created your salad out of the, the things that you found in the yard. Yes, kind of cool. yes, yes, that was, a, that was very fun. I mean, fun and educational and just fascinating to learn. And sometimes it's, it's as a society, remembering the things that our ancestors kind of took for granted, the knowledge that they had. So, right. you know, and a lot of it's lost. Well. Exactly. Yeah, a lot yeah. of so, it's lost. So we are, we are, uh, Definitely into sort of um, re remembering and, and uh, helping people kind of, like I said, sort of learn and grow and evolve along awesome. their journey. Now, are you guys on Facebook? How do, we, how do they reach you? Yes, so we are on Facebook and Instagram under Glow Healing Arts. Uh, we also have a website, glowhealingarts.com, okay. and all of our events and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, all of our events and classes are listed on Facebook and on our website. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And Congratulations on your extra location, your Thank new location, you. and Thank wish you all the luck. For more information on Glow Healing Arts, I have a link in the description. And if you're looking to move to the Roanoke area, buy or sell here, let's have a chat about it. Thank you for watching my channel. Until next time.